Okay, so when it comes to basic face painting, there are a couple of different materials that you can use. You can use cream makeup, which is mainly purchasable around um, Halloween and special times like that. Um, there's also, um, which, well, cream makeup is more of a uh, liquidy texture. Um, it has almost the same consistency as a um, liquid highlighter does. Um, like this, for example. This is the NYC Bronze and Glow Highlighter. Um, cream makeup almost usually has this sort of uh, consistency and texture to it. You can see how it's kind of like um, a mixture between a cream and a liquid. Um, it's not actually liquidy, but it has that like consistency like that, you see? That's pretty much what cream makeup has. Then there is a different type of uh, cream makeup, and this is more of a, um, it's, a, it's more like a cream eyeshadow texture. And these are um, cream makeups as well, all in different shades. Um, I purchased mine from a kit and then I depotted, depotted them from that and placed it in this palette which I purchased at um, Hobby Lobby for $2.99. So um, this is a great thing to have. It, it allows you to like mix colors together, save some colors. Like this is a pale yellow that I've made. Um, but they have a different sort of con consistency to them. So here's this cream paint and here is, this is a NYX Jumbo Pencil. So here's the consistency. This is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Pots and Pans, which goes on like that. Most of you I'm sure are familiar with it. And then here is a gray cream makeup swatch. Has about the same consistency and texture. So if you've ever used a um, NYC, um, what's it called? Blanking. Um, eyeshadow, what are they called? Um, they look like this. They come in this packaging. This is the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. That's what they're called. Um, this is Milk, their white one. Um, but if you've ever used that, if you've ever used one of those or swatched one of those, that's almost the consistency of it. Then you have actual, then you have like face paints that come in almost like a watercolor palette. I know you guys have seen them, they look like watercolor paints. Um, so there's that, which are purchasable pretty much year round. Um, and then these, which are also purchasable year round. And this is kind of a mixture between the watercolor and the liquid cream makeup. So these look like this so you can see it's a bit thicker than the others so it's more of a thicker cream now when these dry you can see it's kind of leaved a little bit of a stain on my finger from just wiping it you have to use a cloth or makeup remover or something um, when these dry, this tends to get um, hard and um, and it turns into a different consistency. Um, it turns into a consistency where it almost becomes crackable. So you know when you use like a face mask and after you've had it on and it's dried and you like smile like it starts to crack almost and it feels really tight? That's what this usually gets the consistency of. Um, these are by Palmer's, Palm, Palmy, I'm drawing a blank now, um, but these are purchasable at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Ben Franklin, um, they are, they make, the company, the brand that makes these, um, makes body paints, face paints, nail paints, um, artist paint, um, so they're quite, you know, good in the paint area. But, um, you can see it's drying and it is, like, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Oops, I just got that on it. My bad. But it kind of, like, rolls off, you know? Um, so that's what that is like. Um, now, onto the actual painting part 
face painting is very simple. Um, it's one of those things that almost anybody can do because it it's so simple. You, there's not much um, difficulty about it um, if you're just doing basic face painting, which is what this video is about. Now, there are a few small things you can do that are simple. Um, one thing is you can do like butterflies. Most people know how to do butterflies. Um, there is what else? Um, baseballs. You know, just simple things like that. Um, that you know, everybody's familiar with, and it doesn't take too much um, effort to do, and it won't take super long. Now, I'm going to show you how to do one thing using all three. Um, or, all, or both of the uh, products I have because I don't have the cream one, unfortunately. But I'm going to show you using the more liquidy face paints and the creamier face paint. So the first thing you're going to want is we're going to be using, today we're going to be using pink and white mainly. So... You have to forgive me, I have not cut all of these separated yet, so I have to open every single one of them. Um, so you can see they're still like attached there. Um, you can cut them to separate them, I just have not yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this light pink color right there. And we are going to create a base. So let's see if I can do this. You know what, I'll do it on my face for you guys. I'll do one on one side and one on the other side. Okay. So to start out for this, we're going to be doing a cupcake. Because I like this one. This is like one of my favorites. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and make a square shape. Kind of raised on the edges. I will warn you, doing face paint on yourself is quite difficult. So you want to start, you want to like make the base of the cupcake, okay? And then... So you kind of have that, so then you're going to fill that in. So then you have that filled in. This form of face paint is typically a lot harder to get even just because of the consistency, the texture, and how quickly it tends to dry. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Um, so then the next we're going to use is white, and it's just basic white. I'm sure you all know what white looks like. Um, so we're going to take that. And we're going to make the top of the cupcake, the little icing part. So just sort of make it not super like precise. Here I want to bring that around. You can use a smaller brush for this if you want. So you have that, then you're going to fill that in, just like we did with the bottom.
then we're going to add on the details. Now for this you can use almost whatever you want. Um, we're going to put a cherry on top of our cupcake because who doesn't like cherries, you know? Well, actually some people don't like cherries, so I take that back. But we're going to put a cherry on top of ours. So we're going to take red, just, you know, basic red. These are basic colors we're using, people. Um, and you're going to put the cherry half on, half off. Like that. And then we're going to use just little random colors to make sprinkles. So it, use whatever colors you want. And then just draw little dashes. And then once you finish your sprinkles, you are done. So it's not too difficult, pretty simple, you know, nothing a normal person can't do. That sounds mean, I'm sorry. Um, so you've seen me do that on that side with the um, more liquidy face paint. Um, this is more of like a, an acrylic paint texture, but it's safe for the face, obviously. Um, and it specifically says safe for the face. I don't have the packaging for it anymore, but I promise you it is safe for the face, so I'm not doing anything harmful. And then next what we're going to do is we're going to use the cream makeup that I have. And we're going to do the same thing. So because we're doing the same thing, I'm going to just fast forward through this, but I want you to be able to see what it looks like being done and how the texture of the product works. And then that side is done, and this side is done. Now, as you can see, this one is a bit, it's, it feels a bit tight to move, and this side just feels pretty normal. Um, now, one last thing before I go. Um, a great thing to have is a palette like the one I showed you that holds my cream makeup, or these little things, which are little pots just like the other face paint is in. And these just sort of, you can see it there. You pop it open like that and then it opens so that if you create a unique color that you want to keep instead of throwing it out you can hold it in here and it'll keep safe so I'll show you how that opens again you just kind of take it like that push and it pops so really simple um, 
and this these came together I pulled them apart you can see where I did that um, these came all together like this and they're 79 cents at Hobby Lobby um, this cream makeup was $4.99 I believe so and all these came together so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you found it helpful this was just basic and very simple it wasn't meant to be super in-depth but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have pictures on my Facebook page. Um, links to everything will be below, so make sure you go and check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, found it helpful, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Love you.